morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's your girl, Chuck Tay, and I am here with your RETV Sports Break. You can catch me here every Thursday, talking junk, spitting facts. Let's get started. Well, guys, uh, the Summer Olympics are set to close in a couple of days, and super proud and excited to announce that at this present moment, Team USA is currently leading the medal count with 79 medals in total. That's gold, that's bronze, that's silver. I know that's not the right order, but we still have them, okay? Still got them, and that is all that matters. Some team sports are wrapping up. For example, the men's Team USA basketball team, I said team twice, uh, is actually competing in the semifinals against Australia this Thursday, the day in which you are probably watching this. Um, so I will say a little bit surprised because I did not have the highest of hopes for this team. Um, so I'm just going to go out and say... I don't take back what I said, but obviously I take it back a little bit because they're winning. Uh, however, I still think the argument's going to be, oh, well, look at all this adversity we had to face and whoop de woo and blah, blah, blah. But nevertheless, it's still exciting. We always want to see team, team USA bring home any medal, but definitely gold medal. So they are trending in that direction. Uh, speaking of men's basketball, Kevin Durant is now... I'm trying to wrap my head around this, but he is now the all-time leading men's Olympic scorer with 336 points, a record that used to be held by, wait for it, Carmelo Anthony. Okay, so before y'all jump down all down my throats, I'm not saying that Carmelo's not a scorer. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying any of that. I'm not saying anything bad about Carmelo Anthony. What I am saying, though, is I'm a little bit surprised that the record was held by him and not like LeBron. But, you know, that's just that's just me, I suppose. Uh, so congratulations to KD. Definitely going to keep watching the men's team and see uh, if they make it past the semifinals and how far they actually go in this count. Continuing with records, we have a ton of Team USA members who have been breaking records, tying records. So let's just th talk about that for a second. For one, for seconds. You ever like hear yourself later? Nevertheless, for one, <laughs> Simone Biles decided to grace us with her presence yet again, winning a bronze medal on her beam performance, which has actually tied her for the medal count of Team USA Olympics as a whole. So one, I'm glad that she was able to kind of get herself together, work on her mental health, have a second, and then come back and still compete. Uh, I'm glad that she was able to metal at all um and again like I said last week like I'm going to always say you have to put your mental health first literally heard on another podcast a, a, an extraordinary point of if she was not in her right mind for the sport that she participates in she could have flat out broke her neck and it's just like that's it's just an amazing point so nevertheless we're not going to go back to last week if you want to see my rant Hit the, hit the button and go back and watch it and then come back here. But nevertheless, glad that Simone was able to to lift herself out of her out of her fog and, and kind of get her mind together and was able to finish off and medal. Continuing with a uh, record breaking, Katie Ledecky of Team USA Women's Swim is now the recipient of the most gold medals of any swimmer not named Michael Phelps. Kind of a big deal. That's that's kind of a big deal. Like, do we remember? Was that like eight years ago? Twelve? Oh, it just seemed like it was such a long time ago where it was just like you couldn't hear swimming without hearing Michael Phelps. Now you're not going to hear swimming without hearing Katie Ledecky. Also, not going to hear about swimming unless you're talking about Caleb Dressel. Also, Team USA men's swimming who has five gold medals just in this Olympic game. Not only has he broken two Olympic records, he has also broken two world records. Five in just this game. Just this game. Team with two four by four, four by one uh, meter medals, and then three individual medals. So congrats to Team USA men and women swim and all of its participants. Also, we now have the first black woman gold medal winning wrestler. First of all, let me tell you something. My family big wrestling people okay I have an uncle a grandfather in the hall of fame my brother has state championship wrestle wrestling is a thing for my family and to have the first black 
woman gold medal wrestler at the Olympic Games is just that's you got to give her a golf clap you got to give her a golf clap so congratulations to Tamira Mensa Stock I really hope I said that right um but she is just oh uh, it was amazing and just to see listen it's like the complete opposite watching the Olympics and watching these people medals like the the complete opposite of March Madness where it's like you hate to see them boys cry but then when they win gold medals it's like you love to see those tears of joy I just love to see it love to see it so guys the Olympics are set to end um next week on August the 8th if I'm not mistaken um unfortunately I will not be here to cover the final bits and pieces of it but you know if I remember at the start of next season we can talk about it so congratulations to all winners all sports all medal all medalers medal winners sure medal winners let's go with that um and you know hopefully we will see a bunch of you back in four years or are they gonna do it in four years are they gonna do it in or in three years because technically the olympics should have been last year which would make the next one 2024 so i wonder what i wonder what they're gonna do that's a good question we'll have to circle back to that anyway moving on as i mentioned guys this is the last show of the season so this is the last time we're going to talk about basketball for a little bit. And when I come back, we'll probably be inching towards the start of basketball. And basketball is going to look a little different this year because in case you've been living under a rock, um, your teams are getting the switch up at present. As of right this very second, the Los Angeles Lakers have acquired Carmelo Anthony and Russell Westbrook. And I'm not sure how the internet was not broken when that happened I, first of all the sheer joy of understanding that lebron and carmelo came in together like 17 years ago i think it's i think it's 17 it was it's who even if it's not 17 it has to be a higher number which is still like mind-boggling right but to see them together in in this way on the same team which is like not something that you you've seen outside of like an all-star game right um or something of that you know um olympics that's what i was trying to say uh it, it's just not something that you see and then the addition of russell westbrook also i know i talk a lot about like devin booker and people that need to be respected a little bit more and i'm not saying i disrespect russ right but he you don't disrespect him but we're not quite giving him the level of respect that he deserves as often as he deserves it there are times where he absolutely goes off and he is a monster definitely can turn it on definitely has games where it's like he still he was still on but he wasn't like nitrous oxide on nitrous oxide is not the word i wanted to use but whatever that little thing when they flip the switch in fast and furious he got one of those like and he flips it on and then he'd be like on on i just i what i hope for the lake show is that the chemistry amongst that team because they also have so we still have lebron obviously uh we still have ad uh dwight howard is returning there's a lot of moving pieces happening in LA right now. So I hope that the chemistry, the injury uh, list dwindles down and, and they stay healthy. And I could I could see I could see this being a really good move all around. I usually don't have anything good to say about the Lakers, not for any real reason other than no, no actually no real reason. But I hope that they are able to work on that chemistry and obviously could be back into the finals playoffs and such next year other notable trades that are happening or what have you uh Kimball Walker is going to the Knicks DeMar DeRozan is going to the Bulls Andre Drummond is going to the Sixers which is going to be very interesting because a tweet from Joel Embiid resurfaced that basically said that uh Andre Drummond was a bum so we're, we're gonna see how that works out and then NBA champion, because you have to say that in front of his name, right? PJ Tucker is actually going to Miami. So it's just like, all right, um, I guess that's happening. And I'm going to take my ring and I'm going to go down there. And, and hopefully that works out with him. Speaking of Miami, though, uh, Jimmy Butler and his mustache have signed a 
184 million max deal four years with Miami Trey Young which is not speaking of Miami but as we're talking about money Trey Young has signed 170 million five years and then CP3 who I was not aware was actually this paid outside of the money he gets from Jake from State Farm CP3 just signed four years 120 million which over the course of his career and and looking at his contracts and things like that 446 million by the time he's 40 that's wow and that's that's just nba money that's not state farm money that's not um where wherever else you see him it's not that money this is strictly nba money that's wild but nevertheless, in the grand scheme of things, there's still some trades going on. There's still a lot of, of moving pieces around. Of course, we had the NBA draft, so there's going to be some additions. There's some attra- subtraction, some division. There's going to be a lot of things that happen. And by the time you guys see me next season, it'll all be said and done, and we'll be ready to really, really dive into the nitty gritty it will also be football season and hopefully a bunch of coaches don't get fired or let go because they don't want to get their COVID shots <sighs> so that is it for me this week guys as I said this is the season finale you guys can catch me next season if you have missed any episode this season definitely go to our YouTube page and watch it you can follow me on Instagram at Chuck Tay that is C-H-U-C-T-A three wise stay safe wear your mask get vaccinated social distance love your mothers love your kids love yourself i will catch you next season see you later